In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the staff requirements with the availability in Excel. I sell this template and basically it works that the three shifts, uh, day, night and evening are populated based on the availability chart here, the staff or, or the people are indicating their availability and based on that, the, the shifts are populated. These names, by the way, are from the random name generator. So it's only pure luck if your name appears here. So I sold this template to somebody and he requested some changes. I figured out a way to make the changes easily so that you can easily change the requirements for your staffing needs. His sheet looks something like this. He doesn't, he has no evening shift. Um, he just has day and night. And his day, day for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is just two during the day and three during the night. On Friday, he has two during the day and six during the night. Um, on Saturday, he has three during the day and six during the night. And Sunday, he only has three during the night. So let's press the populate button and see what it looks like. So you can see now that each of these shifts have been filled by what's available in the staff staff availability chart over here. So let me show you how I made these changes. So my macro is called fill in each day and I've declared R, uh, R as row, C is called and is long and these are for the rows and column of the week. And then I've declared R, RA as row availability and column availability. And this is from the availability chart. The last row is the active row it is counted from the bottom up. So this is the number of staff that they have to choose from. One of the first things I've done is I've done a case select. In this case select, I'm telling it that if uh, the column is this, then the case, the case availability is C plus nine. And the same thing for Tuesday, if the column is three, then the availability is going to be 10, C plus 10. That, that, that's the same thing for Wednesday. For Wednesday is four and the availability is C plus 11. So it goes on like this till the end. So before the case select, I have said that R equals five. So that would be right here. For the first time slot, what you're going to do is you're going to call a macro and it's transferring over it's transferring these values. So it's C, the availability, the R and the C and the last row. So now let's go look at the, what we're calling in this little macro. So the little macro is called time slot. And here you have the same, um, the variables being transferred between them, the CA, the R, the C and the last row. And so you're going from R availability to from six, for which is the first name, to the last row, which is how many people they have employed there. Now, the first thing it's doing an if statement that if the interior color of the, the cell R, R availability and C availability, if it equals blank, if there's no color, then the act, and then they're doing another if, and if the active cell value equals Y, that means they're available. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna color that cell interior color to, to 34, which is kind of a turquoise. And that means it won't be selected again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the, for the, we're filling in the, um, the days value, the active cell value RA, which is the row availability and then 10, which is the column where the names are. And then we're exiting sub. So now you can see that it's gone through and filled in um, Hilda Schultz here. Okay, so let's go back up to the top. So now it has filled in with this little macro, it's filled in the Heidi Schultz, and now it's going to R equals six, and then it's gonna um, fill in the Sherry Armstrong, and then it's going R equals eight, skipped one row, and so we get to Kendra Black here, and nine equals Perry Webster. So it's calling the macro each time and it's resulting in these people being filled in. Now this is, this is gonna be the same thing all the way until Thursday. 
where it's basically doing the same thing over again and populating each of the people. Now, when we get to Friday, the schedule changes. So for Friday, it's calling five and row equals six, the same ways it's done up until now. And now, because we need more, we need, uh, this is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have the R set to all the way from eight to 13, and we're calling a macro in between for each of the, for each of the rows. The same thing goes for Saturday. So you're in basically calling a, each of the rows that you need to populate for each of the time slots on your day. So we go up to row 14 on Saturday and then Sunday, we only have three days or three shifts, I believe. We have the three night people. And so then on Sunday, you're just calling R5, R6 and R7 and now you have them populated. I will, of course, include all of this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.